Our friend from Arizona is a pretty tough guy, as we all know. That tough guy recuperated at home in Phoenix today. The 80-year-old McCain was well enough to take calls from close friends, like Senator Lindsey Graham. Did he say how they discovered the clot? A uh, routine check. He goes back ever so often. But he had not been feeling good. He is really tired. He you know, flies all over the world all the time. And I was getting really worried about him. On Friday, McCain's surgeons performed a minimally invasive craniotomy, an incision through the skull to remove a five centimeter blood clot above his left eye, not far from the spot on his left temple where he had a cancerous lesion removed in 2000. I was in a battle with melanoma, and I know, and I know somewhat, at least to a small degree, how tough that battle can be. Graham says he had noticed that the normally sharp six-term senator had gotten forgetful lately. Mr. Comey, you, uh, the president, uh, Comey. Faltering publicly while grilling former FBI head Jim Comey. You're going to have to help me out here. I'm, I'm a little confused, Senator. CBS News chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. The front of the brain is important for social interaction, communication, so any abnormality there could cause a change in behavior. McCain's health crisis is holding up a vote that could affect health care for millions of Americans. Health care is a human right! Without him, Republicans have no shot at passing their Obamacare replacement bill. So the president wished McCain a speedy recovery today. Because we miss him. He's a crusty voice in Washington. McCain is one of about a dozen Republicans who haven't said where they stand on this health care bill. He's been getting an earful from his state's Republican governor who's worried about the bill's deep Medicaid cuts. Supporters worry that dragging this out will only amplify those concerns. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Capitol Hill.